EU wouldn't believe it. We're being bullied and blackmailed by Brussels. Thank God we're out. In the context of a wider impasse in relation to that wretched Northern Ireland protocol which divides our country down the Irish Sea, Brussels is digging its heels in on an agreement for Britain to be a member of a multi-billion pound science collaboration called Horizon. Well, let me tell you, there's trouble on the horizon. Because under the impressive stewardship of Michelle Donnellan, our brand new Secretary of State for Science, Innovation and Technology, Britain is willing to walk away. A strategy that worked fantastically well when Britain finally talked tough with the EU during Brexit negotiations. And when at the time, Lord Frost made it clear to our friends and neighbours across the channel that Britain meant business. And if a satisfactory deal wasn't available, we were offski. Well, a comprehensive free trade agreement followed. It tells you everything you need to know about the culture of the EU, which is not a cuddly, reciprocal, collegiate, collaborative organisation. Far from it, the EU is a vast political monolith which exists only to serve its own interests. I honestly don't think it even cares about its individual member states. Look how they treated Greece. And the one-size-fits-all currency, the euro, is a disaster for Italian exports, for example. And it says so much about the culture of that organisation that they're willing to sacrifice scientific enlightenment and progress for political gain. That's nothing new. They were willing to sacrifice their economic self-interest when they spent years blocking a trade deal with the United Kingdom. And let's not forget their outrageous behaviour after they messed up and hadn't ordered enough vaccines. They were seeking to blockade Britain's supply. The Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, briefly threatened to erect a hard border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, something they claimed they were against during Brexit negotiations and which they used as an excuse not to grant us a deal. No empathy, no morals, no integrity, total hypocrisy. To make science a political pawn is unforgivable. And so Donnellan has made it clear to these bullying Brussels bureaucrats that we will seek an independent partnership with Switzerland, Japan and the United States, if you've heard of them. No slouches in the old science department. It doesn't have to be this way. Britain is a European country. We have a long and shared history with our continental cousins, not least almost five decades of EU and previously EEC membership. The unfortunate reality for Europe is that whilst they try to characterise Brexit as a disaster and that Britain has been impoverished as a result, I'm not sure that sticks, given the fact that this country was the fastest growing economy in the G7 last year. Everyone and their grandma wants to move here, and we avoided recession in the last quarter of 2022 and may avoid it altogether in 2023. Meanwhile, Germany, deep in recession. You're welcome. You'll never get away from the fact that Britain imports more from the EU than we sell to them. So we are, by an order of magnitude, the customer for their goods and services, and we can take our business elsewhere. Punishing Britain for Brexit isn't great for us, I'll give you that but it's arguably worse for EU member states. And excluding our top professors and academics from Horizon will only hurt European scientific expertise. But again, Brussels are so nakedly political, they don't care. This Cold War with the EU has got to stop. We're out, folks. Get over it. Move on, baby. We can enjoy our independence and sovereignty and establish a global footprint, whilst also pursuing a deep economic, scientific, cultural and security partnership with the EU, with France, with Germany, with Italy, with Spain, all great nations. Brexit can be a success, not just for Britain, but for the EU too. But they're going to have to stop playing these games. You don't have to be a scientist to realise this trivial soap opera doesn't help anyone.